Were you surprised going going to MLS and the loyal here? Like, were you surprised by this new ownership group not including the San Diego loyal? I mean, there's still time to do it, but it looks like you know the loyal they're not going to be involved in this. Was I surprised? No, uh, just because that has been something that the MLS has done in the past as far as going into a market that has a team in the same league as the Loyal, the USL Championship. Uh, there is no relegation promotion, which means that uh, there's no one string that ties all the leagues together. Uh, they're a separate entities. So um, it's been done where they've the MLS has absorbed the local MLS team very few times, but then at the same time, St. Louis is a great example there's a vibrant community of soccer fans that have been building this family together. Uh, and then out of nowhere comes MLS and just excludes them. That kind of feels um, not as good for that uh, fan base that has been there for a while. And uh, that may be what's happening here, right? I mean, 6,000 people uh, pack Torero uh, at any given time. They sell that place out, uh, especially when they're playing well. And so, I mean, I know in a 33,000, cedar like snapdragon it might not seem like much um but ultimately that's still something that's uh it's a community that's been embraced right the soccer community has been embraced by the loyal so i think it'd be beneficial um for them to include them in some way do we want them just to be like oh well we'll buy this entity and guess what the supporter section we'll just call it the loyal right like mm -hmm. something cheap like that almost but um i know uh <laughs> with my sources that the talks are ongoing and uh, it seems like the MLS club is doing some listening sessions. They did in Chula Vista. They went up the coast. They went to El Cajon. And from what I'm hearing is that they're starting to realize that it might not be as easy as it may seem. Does that mean that they're going to consider the loyal a little bit more perhaps, but they can always just turn the other way and with their resources, just chug along. And I mean, we saw a great turnout of Snapdragon. And one thing that I'll say is that, much like the Padres have done, uh, they've embraced the Latino community, the Mexican community, the local community, the Spanish speaking community so well here. I mean, before going to Mexico, right? Like there was already that, that, that flavor, that, that spice to, to, in, to say in a way. Um, but I, I think that this MLS team has that potential as well to bring people together. And ultimately if they bring everybody together, it's going to make more money for them. So why, why wouldn't you want that to happen? Right. It just bring right. everybody along. So, um, it's a long winded answer to say, like, I hope it works out.